hard tonight to uh, get his confidence back and be aggressive again. That's my guy. Switch is my guy, and um, you know, I've been struggling the first 10 games, obviously. We all know that, but um, I told him it was the shoes. He finally decided to wear my shoes, and uh, after a long conversation, he finally decided to wear them, and he had a breakout game, but it was just good, man. He mixed it up tonight. He hit the three ball, got into the paint. Um, you know, he was just... He was the swish. He was that was swish, and uh, you know we're gonna need more of that from you know a lot coming up. How does that change as a team when he can play like that? Oh man, That's, you know, it changes it a lot. You know, it's a, something that we've we've relied on over the last two and a half years. You know, so you know to you know have him have a breakout game tonight, especially the way we've been struggling at home, it was right on time. These games are so long. For some reason, when you have led after one quarter, you win this year. Yeah. Why? Why is getting off to a good start more important, maybe, for this team than than usual? Um, because when we lead after the first quarter, we win. <laughs> you just say <laughs> we got to just do it, hey, man. We got to play better, and uh, tonight we did that. We did that in the first quarter, and we gave our our second line that when they came in, opportunity to play with a lead, and uh, that's key. When you toss the ball. No, that was just, you know, the time was going on and I'm done with the game, you know. Um, I was definitely a little upset about the free throw, but it wasn't the toss of the ball. Um, I could have went 9 for 10 and I did not blew it. Yeah. Right. Uh, we've been those the last two games. Nah, nothing. You're, I'm not going to tell her, no. It's not for everybody. I'll tell you when we die. Brian, started the start of the fourth quarter, you and Kevin were both got to sit the first four and a half, yeah. five and a half minutes and you guys extended the lead. Yeah. How, how big was that? It's huge. We got stops and we made shots. You know, they had a couple of defensive miscues. Um, you know, JR came off one, hit a three, D Wade hit a pull up, you know, and um, you know, Jeff was able to get to the free throw line, get two free throws as well. Center the lead, and then we got stops defensively. So, you know, that was very key. Brian, when Kevin has a night like he did tonight, especially doing all the work he did down low, what does that do, you know, for guys on the wings and creating drives and stuff like that? Um, you know, we need Kevin to play like that all the time, and tonight it was great. I never said it for dropping 40 points from Bucks. Can you tell about his performance? Um, who, whose performance? Uh, Giannis. 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 Oh, oh, Giannis. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he did what he do, and uh, he attacked nonstop for how many minutes he on the floor. And you got to put multiple bodies in front of him, and then when you put multiple bodies in front of him, he's still able to score. So, you know, um, you know he's great in transition, great getting at the rim, and uh, you know we just try to make it a little bit tougher on him. You know, when uh, he decided to get the ball up, we just try to get deflections and, and turn him over a little bit. Staying on the subject of Jr. and Kevin, do you feel that confidence kind of bleed into the rest of the team when they're hitting those kinds of shots? Well, I think, I mean, at the end of the day, we know that you know Jr. struggles, and and um, you know, and at the end of the day, the team recognized that. So when he's able to hit a couple shots to start the game, we want to try to continue to go to him. You got to try to ride that wave and get him off that hump. So. Um, you know, the team definitely recognized that the team, you know, gains energy from that and, um, you know, and it was good for our team tonight. This road trip coming a good time now that uh, you guys are be locked in? Well, we're going to see. We're going to see. We can go one or two ways. So, you know, we look forward to the matchup Thursday. You know, obviously a high-powered offense, you know, all the MVP candidate and James Harden, but those guys around them, they, they make up the difference. So, you know, we'll see what happens. You've cultivated such a massive audience. Nah, I like Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, right? Mm -hmm.